already five years since you get married. It's come on. Well, I, it's strange when if you during 10 or 50 years. It's no, yeah, common. but but I, I thought that she was your girlfriend. When I knew uh -huh, yeah. you, when I knew you, you were uh -huh. only girlfriend and boyfriend. You were uh -huh, not yeah. married. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. So five years already is time flies super quick. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Very nice, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Very, very good. Okay. Very nice. So let's try our, our next topic. Okay. During the, the following uh, classes, we are going to finish and we, uh, we're going to wrap up. We are going to finish all the, the, the lessons uh, and we are going to do a, a complete review of the level because we are finishing the level already okay the level is going to finish in this month or the next and we need to be prepared for two things number one the certificate evaluation uh, the certificate evaluation we are going to do the um, the simulation that we spoke about the we b1 preliminary exam Okay, so we need to get ready for that exam that is going to be in two months. Okay, in this month plus the next month. And we are, these two months, we are going to dedicate ourselves to the final new topics and the training for the B1 certification. Okay, super important to have this training so you can get, get a a good score and pass to the next level. It's super important that you practice your vocabulary, get more familiar with words, get more familiar with English, English concepts, uh, dominate a bigger and wider catalog of words in your mind. You have the ability to really, really, really speak using, using English, okay? This exam is in two months, right? Well, less. It's in four, five, six, seven weeks. In seven weeks, we are going to present the B1 preliminary test. What is going to happen in this moment is that we need to get familiar with B1 uh, vocabulary, no? All the vocabulary that we saw on the, on the course is about B1, is B1 vocabulary, some B2 vocabulary, sometimes C1 vocabulary, but I have given you a special emphasis on B1 vocabulary because it's necessary that you dominate the intermediate words. Yes, um, dominate verbs in past participle, you need, super, super need to dominate verbs in present, past, past participles, all the structures that we have practiced, all the vocabulary that we have practiced, and of course, your listening skills, your speaking skills, and everything. Yes, this is in seven weeks. We are very, very close to the end. Now, on the other hand, today's class is precisely about vocabulary. with the demonstration of the previous words. In the previous video, there was a word that he said, Colt said a word in three different forms. There is a point in the video After when he says, come, come out here. Decide for himself. I do. Yelling at you, screaming at you, that's love? It's passion. She's a Latina, she has that fire, I love. You know, I think she should come out here. I think she should come out here, right? In the video, Colt says, come out, which is similar to visit my city. Come to my house, come out. Get out of Brazil, 
take an airplane and come to my house. But then in the next line, he mentions another thing. He says, come. Are you going to tell Jeff? I don't know. I actually have been keeping another thing from Jess. You're going to wait and surprise her? A few days after I returned from Brazil, Vanessa was having a hard time during her divorce and needed a place to stay. My mother invited her to stay with us. You know, I think she should come out here. To stay with us, to try again with you. Are you okay with that? I think we can try again in Vegas. I love Jess. I think she's a great girl. And I want to move forward in our relationship. I don't remember when, but he says come several times, right? The idea is that the verb come has many different applications, right? Look at these four different uses, usages for the word come. Okay, I want you to observe these four words. Come on, come in, come from, come out. The four of them use the verb come, but they don't have the same meaning. They actually have a very different meaning, one and another. When you say, hey, come on, come on, this is an expression to say, Hurry up. Mm -hmm. And then here you have the second says, come in. Come in is the expression to give permission to enter. A car or a house. Come in. You see? So, come on is not similar to come in. Do you agree with me? Yes. Okay. Come on versus come in. In the WhatsApp, I sent you a message. I said, Zoom's open, guys. Check your WhatsApp. It says there, Zoom's open, guys. What does it say? Mm -hmm. This is a message that I sent you on WhatsApp. Come on, in, come on in. Uh -huh. You have double connector, no? Mm -hmm. Come on in. This combination is possible because you can say, this combination means hurry up to enter the class. Hurry up to enter. You see what I mean? Because it's a combination of come on, which is hurry up, and come in, which is enter. Together, come on in. Yes or no? Understand them, understand. Yes, teacher. Yes. Very nice. And what about come from and come out? Well, come from and come out are 
these two. Our natural meaning for the verb come. Come from. Where do you come from? So chill. Or Michael, where do you come from, Michael? I come from... Mexico City. Exactly. Uh, I come from Mexico City. Which is the natural meaning for come. Okay. Right? The first two, these are not natural meanings. This is, this is not a natural meaning. This is a different meaning. Non natural meaning for the verb come. And the other, yes, is natural. Right? Come out. Right? Uh, the, the cat came out the box in a hurry to escape. Right? You imagine a cat running for his life? You see? So my my point in this in this uh, introduction is this. Verbs have natural meanings and non-natural meanings. Uh -huh. Natural meanings are easily translated to Spanish. You can say natural meaning come from in Spanish. How do you say I come from Mexico City in Spanish? Vengo de la Ciudad de México. Vengo de, right? It's very easy to transform that, right? Come out here to my house. How do you say that in Spanish? Come out here to my house. Salgan de aquí de mi casa. Mm -mm. Come, 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 come. Associate. I come from Mexico City. How do you say come in Spanish? I come from Mexico City. Can you repeat, Luis? Yes. Mm. I come from Mexico City in Spanish. Yo vengo de la Ciudad de México. Excellent. Come, only come. Yo vengo. Vengo, exactly. Vengo de. So if you say, come out here to my house. Ven. Exactly. Ven fuera. No. Fuera. Well, not technically. Eliminate. No. Uh, in that context, is is like, come out of your house and come to my house. You know? Mm. Uh -huh. Like exit your house and come to mine. You see, it's not exit. It's come visit me. You see, come out can be a combination. It can be salif. Come, come to my house. Salgan de su casa para venir a la mía. Come out to my house. 
Ah, ok. ¿Y si van a bien? This is a very, very... Actually, this is considered one of the natural meanings of come, but it has a little difference, right? Because it's a different verb. In Spanish, it's salir, but in English, it's come out. Come, and you need to think about the, the, the principal uh, meaning for come. On the other hand, the non-natural meaning is very different. Come on, hurry up. And come in, enter. You see? So, non-natural meanings are impossible to translate to Spanish. This Words are called phrasal verbs. Today we are going to talk about phrasal verbs. Verbs that, I, that have a different meaning from the natural meaning of the word. The natural meaning is a verb, the, 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 the definition that you have seen in previous uh, classes is usually A1 vocabulary and A2 vocabulary. Uh -huh. Let's collocate that over here. This is 673. Here we go. over here. The more phrasal verbs you learn, the wider is your vocabulary scope. What is a scope? Catalog. Scope is similar to catalog. So if you analyze the situation, A1 and A2 vocabulary is the natural, the natural form of the verb. We say, for example, come with me. Come with me. Come to my house. Come out of your room. Or then we get to the metaphoric meanings and we get come, come on and tell me. Come on and tell me. Hurry up and tell me. Or for example, why uh, when did you no why why didn't you come along with them? And this is when we start getting a little bit more advanced. Uh -huh. Because now, come along is a little bit different. What does come along mean? We saw this in previous vocabulary. Come in. Come in. Come in. Uh -huh. But come in is different from come along. Okay. Uh -huh. Another.
For example, come along with me. Come along with me. Uh -huh. What's the meaning of come along with me? Mm. Uh. Mm. What's the meaning when you say come along with me? What, um, what do you mean? For example, when 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 uh, when now uh, uh, when my friend uh, um um uh, uh, it, it is uh, with the other person. Mm -hmm. uh, I I say, um, come along with me. Oh, when your or friend. Come along. Okay, can you repeat when your friend what? Mm -hmm. uh, when my when my friend. Um, uh, uh, I try to remember, try to remember. Mm -hmm. because I, for, I forgot <laughs> the idea. Help um, me. Um, uh, when my friend is, um, is, um, the other person is the other person i don't understand uh -huh, uh -huh. no 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 um mm, when my friend is uh with other person excellent okay okay uh i i said um come along okay and that is an example but What's the meaning? The, when, when you look for a meaning, you need to find a synonym, an easy synonym for the, mm -hmm. for the complicated word. What synonym do you think corresponds? Mm. Not sure. Uh, I, uh... I don't know. No synonym? Who can mm -hmm. help such a... Give me a synonym for come along. Who can help her? Mm. Luis, Mike, don't you have a idea? Mm. Um uh, uh go Mike um Tell me. Uh, come along uh -huh. a synonym for come along mm. opposite uh, get out opposite of opposite of, of. get out Opposite to get out is opposite to get out together? is to get in together? Ah, okay together. That's much better. But incomplete. We do what together because a, a synonym must match the family. Okay. If come along is a verb, you need a verb. Ah, okay. So what is the synonym? Together is correct, but it's incomplete. Do what together? Stay together? Kinda, I like it. But remember that stay is like, for example, when you go to a hotel. You ah, stay okay. at the hotel, so this is not stay. 
What about B? Uh -huh. B is be together. Be together. Come together can be. Come along is similar to come together. Like the Beatles. Come together. Yeah. Right? So this is when it gets important because B1 is the comprehension of easy vocabulary to comprehend or to understand difficult vocabulary. And then we have phrasal verbs. For example, let's find the verb come. And we get vocabulary B1. Come into. Use as an expression to show that something has reached a particular state. You know? B1 definitions. Let me change this here. Come into. Example. At last winter. I know, at last, comma, winter came to an end. Winter came to an end. This is similar to say, winter ended. Winter ended. Do you understand? Hello. Do you understand or you don't understand? Yeah. Do you understand this really? Because it's complicated, eh? Very complicated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What about let this is an expression. What definition can I say? Um something had a particular okay. There was a change. There was a transformation. I, I am an independent teacher, but before, before I, I worked in a, in a school. Mm -hmm. So when I entered, when I entered this final school, I decided to finish my relation with, with the school and become independent. This is when I came to become an independent teacher. Came to become an independent teacher. Another example. I had a problem. So, I uh, tried, I tried to find a solution, and finally I came to a solution. I had a decision to make, for example, and I came to the decision. Finally, you finally came to the decision. You see what I mean? When will they come to a decision? Let me give you an example. Help me. Um, Luis. When? When did the president came to power? Came to power, in this case, is similar to say, became a president. When did the president came to power? Mm. <coughs> Go. Again. Uh, when the president came to power 
Uh -huh. Ah, ok. En... Mm, en... Mm, December 1st. Uh -huh. December 1st. Are at 2018. Eliminate at. Ah, ok. December 1st. 2018. Perfect. This is a complement. Complete idea. The president came to power in December 1st, 2018. Perfect. There we go. To come to power, to come to a particular state. You see, this is an idiomatic expression using the verb come. And this is not literal to Spanish. If you think in Spanish, this is no sense. This is the difference between a beginner and an intermediate. An intermediate student can understand concepts that are impossible to put into Spanish. I repeat, an intermediate student can understand concepts that are impossible to translate to Spanish. Okay? For example, this is B1, but let's go to the phrasal verbs. Come along, come. Uh, what about coming to? No. Come down. No. Isn't it? Come down? Uh -huh. It's more common. No? I think so. Mm. Ah, no. No, no, no. No, that's not common. That's not really common. I mean, it's possible they exist, but we will see it later. Something more, something easier. For example, uh, that's complicated. What about come out? Hmm. Look at this. This is probably B2, but also useful in the exam. Try this one, uh, Sochi. Help me with this one. Um, come out uh -huh. uh, when the sun, uh -huh. moon, or stars come out. They appear, mm -hmm. the rain stopped and the sun come out. Excellent. Go through the pronunciation, eh? Very nice. The rain stopped and the sun came out. What's the meaning of this? It was night and then the sun appeared. When we are talking about the moon, the sun, the stars, they come out. It's not literal that they come to your house. Do you agree with me? That's the reason this is an idiomatic expression. This is a phrasal verb. A phrasal verb is a non-natural meaning. Mm -hmm. So, Jill, at what time does the sun come out? Could you repeat the question, teacher? Mm -hmm. At what time does the sun come out? Uh, um, at, at six o'clock? At six o'clock. Complete idea. Uh, the sun uh, come out mm -hmm. at six o'clock. 
Excellent. I come, you come, and the sun? Comes. Comes. One more time. <laughs> um, the, the sun come out, comes mm -hmm. out. Exactly. Uh, at six o'clock. Excellent. The sun comes out at six o'clock, and this is non literal. Look at this. Flowers, when open, when flowers open, they come out. You see? For example, do you know, do you know any flower, Caesar, that comes out with the sun? Mm, yeah, teacher. Um, The flower, the all flowers. Yes. Opened. In in with the sun. Um, but but my question is different. My question is not a yes or no. My question is information. Do you know any flower? Any flower that ah, comes okay. out with the sun? Yeah, I, I know uh, any flower to open the sun. Two? No. Uh, two. Any flowers to open? But I never say two. Why are you saying two? I repeat. Do you know any flower that opens, no, that comes out? with the sun okay yes yes i know any flowers come nouns come come nouns nouns what is nouns? Come, no come you forgot the idea again again pay attention pay attention to the uh, to the listen do you know any flowers that comes out with the sun? Yeah, I know any flowers comes out, out. In the sun. Interesting um eliminate in yeah yeah <laughs> what is the connector for company for company together two no together if you go together if you and your sister go to the cinema you go to the cinema Connector for together, connector for company. Uh, with? With, exactly. So, do what flower comes out with the sun? Um, for example, sunflower. Okay, complete idea. The sunflowers come out with the sun. With the sun, you see? Not in the sun, not to the sun, no, no open. You see? Yeah. That's the one. That's the one example. You see? And this is a, another application for the verb. Come. Okay, teacher. You see? Pay attention to the audio, the listening. Don't don't get distracted with the visuals. Listen, listen, listen. For okay. example, for example, when when a singer appears in the scenery. Mm. He, yeah, he, he comes out. He comes out and say hello. That's correct. Okay, that is correct. That is to come out. You see, a very very intermediate. Uh, that is sort of easy. Eh? This come out is similar to this 
elementary. But if you really, really want something intermediate, you're going to see this. It's a classic, classic phrasal verb. Help me, Luis. Come up with, uh -huh. come up with something to find or produce an answer, a sum of money, etc. She came up with a new idea for increasing sales. Pronunciation, how do you pronounce this? Uh, idea. Idea, so one more time. Okay, uh -huh. she, came, she came up with a new idea for increasing sales. sales. That's correct. <clears throat> how, how, soon, how soon can you come up with the money? That's correct. You see? So we are talking about producing an answer, producing an idea, producing a sum of money, producing. Right? This is the synonym. Remember, when you read the definition, the synonym must match in family. So come up with something is similar to produce something. For example, you produce ideas. You produce... A... What do you produce? You produce methodology, you produce labor, and you produce money. When you have a problem, you need to produce a solution, right? So all those things eliminate produce and collocate, come up with. You need to come up with a solution. You need to come up with the money. You need to come up with an answer. And yes, this is not a literal come like in Spanish. Super different. Yes or no? Give me an example with come up. Help me. Mm, you, Luis, give me one. How do you say uh, uh, juego de fútbol? Uh, football game or football okay. match? Football match. Exactly, exactly. <clears throat> In, in the match, Messi come up, Messi comes up, Messi comes up a goal. Incomplete. No? Okay. Comes up. Oh, yes. Okay. <clears throat> In the match, Messi comes up with the ballon, a goal. Eliminate the ballon. Ba ba ballon is different. This is a ballon. Balloon. Oh, so it's not balloon, it's ball. Mm -hmm. Oh, with the ball. That's why it's football. But that's not necessary. The something, the something is the goal. Okay. 
Uh -huh. Again. Okay. In the match, uh, before the half time, uh -huh. Messi comes up with a goal. Exactly. And does he always come up with a goal? Or are you talking about a match in past? Ah, uh, in past. It's a past, no? What is the past of come? Yes. Que games. Yes, sir. Uh, when you speak Came. in past, aha. Uh -huh. Game up. Exactly. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Complete. In the match, before before the half time, Messi came up with goal. Goal is countable? Ah, with a goal. Excellent. That is an excellent example. <laughs> Messi came up with a goal. Very good. What about questions, guys? Who still doesn't understand? Settle this? Yeah, teacher. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Give me an example. Caesar. Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Um. For example, my dog mm -hmm. come up with him clothes. Hmm. Your dog come up with him him is not a possessive no her uh his his blood yes. that's much better kinda kinda we have issues can you produce no can your dog produce his clothes no so this is incorrect come up with is similar to produce yeah i, I yeah okay uh, my dog come up with his poop. <laughs> okay, but produce is something positive. That's not positive. To produce something is to create something for the for for another thing. You don't produce feces. You, yeah. uh, you dispose of this. This is a different verb. This is a little bit complicated. Okay, this this example is uh, impossible because the dog don't produce. Ex doesn't. Doesn't produce. Exactly. Okay. Precisely my point. <laughs> okay, um, the other example is I come up with an uh, important document for my job. Excellent. That's much better. That's much better. But again, you cannot produce a document. Mm -mm. You need to produce something in your mind. You need to produce something, such as an idea. Oh, okay. An answer, a solution, something that is mental. Okay. Uh, I come up with um, 
uh, idea for much better new food new chemical uh, new new chemical food restaurant what is chemical uh the food um the the restaurant we uh when the restaurant makes uh food with the different pro the different chemical process do you remember how do you pronounce this school it's a school no no it's chul yeah so it's not chemical okay how do you pronounce it chemical exactly yes okay. again um i come up with uh idea for idea idea starts with i what teacher idea starts with i idea uh -huh. idea starts with i you cannot say a idea an, an idea. An idea, exactly. One more time. Okay. I come up with an idea for pronunciation. Idea. Idea, okay. Uh, one more time. I come up with an idea uh -huh. for new. Chemical. Excellent. Food restaurant. Chemical food restaurant. Chemical food restaurant. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, a new chemical food restaurant is countable. A uh, chemical new, a uh, chemical food restaurant. And what happened with new? A new? Exactly. Complete. Okay. I come up with an idea, idea mm -hmm. for a new chemical food restaurant. Excellent. That is correct. And when, what you have to focus on is on the definition that we have here. You cannot use any vocabulary. You need to focus yourself in what is the appropriate vocabulary together with this word. Okay, that's why it was impossible with your dog. It was impossible with, with uh, other things. It was necessarily to be, ah, the documents, the documents. It was impossible with the documents. Everything in this case, we needed mental processes like thoughts, ideas, conclusions, even money. Okay. Very good, let's stop for a moment because Jesse will pass attendance. Hello, Jesse. Let's go. Hi, hi. Good night. Good night. Good so night. we're going to say attendance, please. Please, yes, please. Janet. Absent. Right. Luis. Luis. Luis is here, eh? Oh. Mm -hmm. Hi, Luis. Oh, Thank present, you. present. Excuse me. <laughs> Excellent. Don't worry. Thank you, Luis. Good night. Michael. Present. Thank you, Michael. Good night. Raúl. Raúl absent. Well, Robert. Absent too. Mm, Sochil. I'm here. Hi, Sochil. Thank you. Good night. Jorge. Hi. Jorge, yes. Yes. Hi, okay. Oh, yes. And in the afternoon. In the afternoon, exactly. Oh, and Cesar. Here. Thank of you, course. Cesar. Good night. So that's all. That's all, Carol. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Good night. See you. Good night. See you. Bye. Very good. Speaking English. Very good. So that's that's a demonstration of phrasal verbs, guys. 
When you understand a verb, don't understand it in Spanish. That one of the biggest, biggest challenges for B1 intermediate students is to have the ability to understand verbs in their different connotations, right? The natural connotations are fundamental English, elementary English, elementary and beginner. But the non-natural connotations are phrasal verb and other expressions like that. Yes or no? Yeah, sure. Right? Yep, sure. Does anybody have a question until here? No. No, teacher. Okay. All right. Well, taking that into consideration, the, the last one is come up with, which is new. Like this, the with is optional. You need also to consider that some some connectors have independent meanings too. Look at this. Some connectors have also an independent meaning. In this case, come up with is the, the, the example that you said. No? To think of, as, of something such as an idea or plan. But what happens if you make a combination with other verbs? For example, rank up. Rank up. Please read rank up, Luis. Help me with this one. Luis, are you there? Oh, excuse me. Uh, rank up to put to put someone or something into a position according to their sources oh, importance to their what again to the to their sources hmm. sources oh, watch out this is not spanish how do you pronounce this ah uh, success suck Success. And what is the stress? In the first syllable or in the second syllable? In the first syllable, no? Uh -huh. In the second. The apostrophe marks the next syllable. Success. Okay. Oh, success. Yeah, success. 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 Uh -huh. success. Success. So one more time. Rank up, phrasal verb to put someone or something into a position according to their success, importance, size, etc. Example, <clears throat> I could finally rank up at the competition placement. Last year, I was uh, 10 today. I am three. Do you understand this? The competition placement? Yes. So you have number 10. For example, Checo Perez. Checo Perez started in number 10. Today is number one. He ranked up. Uh huh. He you see? Up. Uh huh. If you think about competitions and you Google translate the word rank, you get the word classificar. But when you collocate rank up, now it's different. Now it's subir de rango. Uh -huh. You see, only because you collocated the connector up, it changes completely. This is a phrasal verb combination. <coughs> mm -hmm. They exist all over English. Give me an example of rank up, Michael. Checo Perez ranks up. Uh, 
the I don't know the Formula One. Formula One. <laughs> Formula One. Yeah, Formula One. Okay, can you repeat that? Uh, Checo Perez ranks of. Uh, does does ten. he rank every day? Uh, the pass. Okay. The pass, no? Okay. So what is the pass of rank? Or maybe Checo Perez was ranking up Formula One. Ranking. Is he ranking in this moment? Yeah, probably. Probably. Okay, okay. Yes, but okay. complete. What is necessary for a verb in ING? Uh, Checo Perez is ranking. Exactly. I was ranking. No? Was can be too. Mm -hmm. Okay, Checo Perez is. Uh, Checo Perez was ranking up. Uh, Formula One. Ranking up where? Or what? Uh, at the first, the tenth first position. The position. This is the word that you need. Again. Okay. Okay. Uh, Checo Perez was ranking up uh, the first, the, the position? Oh, exactly. the same position. The position? The position only. Mm -hmm. Position Formula One. Connect Formula One. Two Formula One. Mm -hmm. I wow. think Formula One in this case is the location. Uh, at Formula at. One. Exactly. Complete. Ah. Checo okay. Perez was ranking up position at the Formula One. Much better. Much better. Very good. You see, come up, rank up. All of them have connotations of going up, 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 up. Mm -hmm. And what about show up? This is another. B1 phrasal verb. Let me locate here the B1. B1. The B1 and the B1. Help me with uh, with show up, uh, Sochil. Uh, show up. It's a verb mm -hmm. to arrive in a place where people are expecting you. Example, I am very, I am very glad that you show up, show it up to my pretty. To your what? Up, excuse me, my party. Much better, exactly. <laughs> to your party. Party. Exactly. I am very glad that you showed up to my party. Do you understand this? Mm. Find the synonym in the definition. What is the synonym for show up? Um, can we... Um, Uh, how do you say aparecer? Show up. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, appear, it depends. Aparecer what? Um, uh, for example, in, in a place Uh -huh. show up a person no when a person appears in a in a place exactly that show up precisely show up okay uh -huh. the other synonym is um to arrive exactly to show up is similar to arrive 
think about an example with arrive and substitute arrive for show up. Okay. Action. Mm in this example no make an example okay mm. think about an example with a rife mm. Mm. Um, I, um, I arrive soon. <laughs> you arrive soon. Okay. I arrive soon. Okay. Wait. But you need to consider the rest of the definition. Yes, it's similar to arrive, but it's to arrive to a place where people are expecting you. When what place are people expecting you? Okay. Imagine an event where people are expecting you. I, I, I arrive uh, soon. Mm -hmm. Is this future um, or past? I, I, uh, okay, future. I will arrive soon. Excellent. Excellent. I will arrive soon. Uh, um, Mm, I will arrive soon to to meeting. A specific meeting? To the meeting. Excellent. Substitute arrive for show up. Oh, okay. I will I will show 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 up uh, to the meeting. Exactly. And this is the application of a phrasal verb. Okay. First, find the easy synonym in the definition and then substitute this word in an example. Okay. You see? So, the lesson for today is and then replace this word with a B1 so the definition for rank up for come up etc are very easy words okay the strategy that I am that I am showing you is like this strategy to learn more phrasal verbs associate the phrasal verb with an A1 synonym. Then try to substitute this word with the B1 phrasal verb. In the case of show up, show up was, what was the A1 synonym for show up? Guys, what is the question, teacher? What was the A1 synonym? A1 synonym for show up. To arrive? Exactly. A1 is to arrive. B2 is to show B1, sorry, is to show up. What was 
the phrasal verb for uh, no sorry the, the synonym for uh, go together Another switch. Go together. Come out and wait. Kinda. Come out. Kinda. You're close, you're close, you're close. Yes, it's come, but it's incomplete. Come along. Exactly. Um, Go together is similar to come along. Come along. Very good. A1 enter. How do you say enter in B1? Come in. Excellent. Come in or into. Mm -hmm. And A1, hurry up. Yes. Come on. You see, this is the way you learn new phrase helpers. Okay. The strategy to learn new phrase helpers. So you saw it first here with me. Oh yeah. Do you have any questions, guys? Not this moment, no. not teacher. Oh, no, no, that's yeah, fantastic. Are. Well, study your phrasal verbs. Of course, we are not going to see a lot of phrasal verbs in this moment. Uh, not today. Tomorrow we are going to see more phrasal verbs. This is the next, the next step. The most common B1 phrasal verbs. So you can start associating easy words with more complex words and get used to thinking in English. Okay, that's going to be for tomorrow, but in this moment you can go and have a good night. Thank you, teacher. Have a good Thanks night. You. See you later. Good Bye. night, everybody. Thank you. Good night. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye, guys. See you. Bye. Bye.